Okay, I'm live. <laughs> Somebody just got to text me. Well, welcome uh, to Matthew Knight Arena offices, Duck fans. Uh, my name's Kelly Graves, and I'm the head women's basketball coach. For those that don't know, for those that didn't know that, why the heck are you watching this anyway? Um, but welcome. Uh, we didn't have a chance this year to have kind of a midnight madness kind of thing. I know that's trademarked. I probably shouldn't have called it that, but a meet the Ducks night. So I thought, you know what, what the heck, let's do it like this. Uh, let's get to know them intimately, a little bit about where they're from and their families and, you know, their likes and their dislikes. Um, I was wearing my mask here to start. I am safely in my office. Uh, the team will be kind of rolling through one at a time, several offices down, and uh, we'll, we'll just have a little bit of fun. If you have some questions, I, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to see them or not. I'm, I'm barely lucky. I, I didn't even know we were live for crying out loud. So uh, anyway, as you can see behind me, this is our practice facility. Uh, you can see the three uh, position awards, Ruthie, Satu, and Sabrina's awards here in the back. Um, we miss those guys, but we're really excited for a new year, uh, a new group of very, very talented and, and hardworking players. So, yeah, let's get right to it, you guys. If, if it's okay with you, I'll just, you know, we'll bring him in one at a time and just ask him some questions. We'll finish each little segment with some rapid fire uh, questions, and hopefully we get some rapid fire responses. But look who, uh, look who we brought in first, and I told Lydia that she's – She's or she said she's the hook. She's the one that's got to make a big splash for the uh, for our listeners here and keep them, uh, you know, and keep them uh, enthused. So, Lydia, can you hear me, kiddo? One sec. I can't hear you. Well, it's not going to work if I can't hear him. OK, I guess this is where I'm supposed to draw it out. Can you hear me now? Hey, I got you, Lit. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, we always start off with a bang, right? That holds the audience. So, Lydia, welcome. Thanks for being the first one. Uh, you know, first of all, listen, just just kind of catch us up on on you, how you're doing, where you're at in life and in school. Yeah. Um, right now I'm doing grad school, basketball, and student teaching, actually. I'm a third grade student teacher and really enjoying it, um, juggling all of it. I'm also a SALT rep at the University of Oregon, so I'm uh, one of the representatives for the University of Oregon, along with a football player named Taylor Koth. Um, yeah, it's great. We're off to a great start this year. I think fall's been awesome so far and, and just falling into rhythm, finally, of getting basketball and season going underway. So it's exciting. Lydia, you're definitely one of the leaders here, not only on our basketball team, but here at the University of Oregon among our student athletes. Tell us about that, that leadership. You, you just talked about it a little bit, but what, what all does that entail? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, each school has two representatives, like I said, and uh, really we're just serving as, you know, a so you have all of your athletic directors that for every school they get together to make decisions and you have all of your SWAs, we have our Lisa Petersons, we have a faculty athletic representative and this just gives the student athletes a platform and a voice to you know have a seat at the table and have a conversation as well, um, which is so important to the Pac-12 and I think uh, it's been really, it's proven to be really important these last eight months, right, with so much new information going on and so much about the uh, student athlete well-being, eligibility, um, they've all been top conversations and priorities about what's going on and how we're going to handle this situation. So having a seat at the table as a student athlete is super important, and I'm really appreciative of it. Well, Lydia, we're really proud of you as, as far as being a student athlete. You're a great example for, you know, not just our the players on our team, but all of our, our departments. So thanks for your leadership and your service. Uh, tell us a little bit about you. I, I think most of our fans know about you, but tell us about your family, where you're from, all of that. Yeah, I, I like you said, I think a lot of them know, but I'm from Seattle, Washington. Um, I'm a grad student this year in the College of Education. Uh, I have three younger siblings who I love dearly. Um, and yeah, originally from Seattle, I'm thinking, you know, in these next coming years, either going heading back up to Seattle, back to the dark side. Um, 
and potentially becoming a teacher and or going and playing overseas for a couple of years. So we'll see, you know, based on the state of the world. <laughs> yeah, well, certainly you've got the ability to, to, to play pro basketball. And uh, I know we, we've talked about that a little bit. What what would be your dream if you could go to any country in the world? Let, and let's take the WNBA out of it. Any other country in the world, where would you want to go to play pro ball? Yeah, I think I would go to Spain. Um, my dad played overseas there for almost 11 years, I want to say. And I was actually born over there. So um, hoping to obtain dual citizenship and, and go play over there for a couple of years and get back to some roots. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty neat. Now, could you play professional basketball over there and then also teach at the same time? That would be the hope. Yeah. You know, maybe teach English. Could you do that, yeah. actually? I'm technically certified language, basketball, teaching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. We're going to we're going to rely on you a lot. You know, this is your fifth year. People forget you came in the same year with Sabrina and Ruthie. And, um, you know, you had some injuries early and stayed an extra year. It, you, you feel in a crazy sort of way lucky about that, that you're here for an extra yeah. year. I do. I think if there's ever a time in the world to have an extra year of college to to be a kid for another year, I, I'll take it this year for sure. Oh, that's great. Well, what's the best piece of advice that you can give? You know, we have a lot of young kids, Lydia. You know, I guess, do we call you Grandma Lydia and Aaron? Because you're, no, no, you know, no. you're, you're so much older than the other players. But what kind of advice uh, can you give young kids? Um, I would just say to, you know, really just enjoy get to know new people, get to know other athletes. I know it's hard right now, but, um, really reaching out, finding other ways because, you know, while all of our times on the basketball court are so important, so are all of our times as a team off the court. Right. And just having that open team chemistry, really loving each other. Um, those are all the things we're going to remember. And those are the moments that I hold most dear to myself going into my fifth year and the moments that I'm excited to make more of. Well, that's awesome, Lydia. Well, listen, we're gonna end with a, a couple of questions here. First, before we get to the rapid fire, uh, what's one thing about you that uh, people would be surprised to know? Um, I'm a great, I'm a pretty good cook. I don't know, that's not really surprising. <laughs> No, that's I didn't know that. I mean, I know you like to. I didn't know you were any good. You've never yeah. brought anything over to coach. I know. Well, I was just with the I just made the freshman cookies actually the other day. They loved them, so they can attest later. Yeah, you know who has two thumbs and likes cookies? So, you know, chocolate chip. Actually, any cookie. There's no such thing as a bad one. Okay, you ready? All right, here we go. Rapid fire. We'll get as many of these questions in in about a minute as possible, okay? Uh, your favorite WNBA team? Seattle Storm. Let's go, the champions. Guilty food pleasure? Uh, hot dog, popcorn, coffee. Okay. One place in the world you want to visit? Egypt. Cool. Favorite Nike shoe? Kyrie. Favorite movie of all time? Uh, just go with it with Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler. <laughs> awesome. All right. A couple of since you're, I can't ask most of the team this, I'll ask you, um, favorite Pac-12 road trip. Oh, easily the Virgin Islands last year. Good call. Uh, and then last favorite memory here at the University of Oregon. Um, I, I have to say Tampa for sure. Uh, that whole experience, the trip to the Final Four, really, I mean, from the last game that we played at home against USC and UCLA when we lost, um, pretty much starting then up until April <laughs> was the best time ever. Um, good time to be alive. Good time to be a duck. Always good to be a duck. Well, Lydia, we are glad you are a duck. That is for sure. And we wish you the very best on your uh, senior year, okay? Thank you for being with us. Thanks, Coach. Now See you tomorrow morning. Send in the next victim. Sounds good. All right. Hey, Lydia's been terrific so far this fall. She's, um, you know.
Oh, she's such a great leader and an example for our young kids. I don't think anybody uh, works harder day to day. And, you know, she has to come to practice late sometimes, maybe leave a little bit, er a little bit early because of her student teaching and other things, uh, commitments. But, uh, yeah, we're really proud of her. So, all right. It looks like I think we've got Aaron, our other fifth senior, our other grandma. <laughs> all right, Aaron. Good to see you. Welcome. Yeah. Hey, catch us up. What what's this whole COVID thing been like? What 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 have been your feelings? What have you learned over the last eight or ten months? Um, probably just to take it one day at a time. Um, not to stress too much about the future. I feel like there's so much out of our control this year. Um, I feel lucky that we're able to do as much as we are, and that we're looking forward to starting our season soon. So, probably just take it one day at a time. Well, I'll tell you, as a coach, it's uh, it's reassuring when I can talk to any coach in the country and say, guess what? I have the best shooter in America on my team. Where did that come from? How did you develop into such an amazing, amazing shooter? Uh, it started with my dad, for sure. He was also a really good shooter when he was in college, um, and he taught me how to shoot. So it definitely started with him. Now, hopefully your, your dad, Scott's watching. I, I've looked him up. He didn't make that many. I saw what his scoring average was. So you say he's a good shooter. He had to have brought something else to the table, Aaron. <laughs> yeah, that's true, I guess. Um, that's funny. I hope he's watching this and heard that too. <laughs> but no, he taught me everything I know. He must have known something. <laughs> well, you're with an amazing family. Would you tell us a little bit about him? Yeah, uh, my mom and dad, Mary Beth and Scott, and then I have two younger brothers, uh, Jackson and Cutter. Um, Cutter's a freshman in high school, and um, Jackson's a junior in college, and we're from a small town in the middle of Kentucky. Uh, basically, my all of my extended family also lives uh, in the same town. Okay. Yeah, Hodgenville. I love it. Yeah. Kentucky's <laughs> been real good. At least on the women's basketball yeah. team. Um, so, what what got you here? What uh, tell us about that whole process? Why Oregon? Um, after I transferred after my freshman year, I was really just looking for um, really good people to be surround myself with. Um, that's all I wanted. Um, people that were going to help me grow as a person on and off the court, and I found that here. Yeah, well, we're cert certainly glad that you did. Uh, listen, I, you and I have spoken. I've had several teams already uh, talk, uh, call me about you and, and uh, the WNBA. What, uh, tell us what you're majoring in now and, and what are your plans after graduation, including basketball? Uh, so I'm majoring in product design. Um, I'll graduate at the end of this year. And if I... Um, uh, if I don't end up playing after, I'll be looking for a job in design uh, somewhere, um, probably more back towards the East Coast around closer to my family. And um, if I continue to play, you know, at some point I'll end up uh, kind of going down that same role, road and finding a, a job in design. So um, either way, I guess my path will kind of lead me back to uh, using my product design degree here. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, okay, I just was told I got to move this along. But you guys are so interesting. I love talking to you. Uh, same question that I asked Lydia, since, uh, you know, we don't have a lot of veterans. Uh, you know, what what kind of advice can you give these young kids, your teammates? We have so many of them, seven freshmen. Yeah, I think the biggest thing probably would be, um, well, I guess a, a couple things. One that, you know, everyone says this, but the time goes by really fast when you're here, um, much faster than you think it will. So just, um, you know, savor every moment. Don't take anything for granted. Um, and the second would be just to be the best teammate that you can be. Um, that'll be what you remember most about playing here over anything else. Well, you are a great teammate, Aaron, and you will go down uh... – uh, you know, certainly on my Mount Rushmore of maybe the nicest people that I've ever had the opportunity to coach in 34 years. Keep it up. Keep leading. 
need you. You're you're the one player that has logged a lot of minutes, a lot of time in some big games for us. And so we're going to rely on you. And I really appreciate uh, how much you've improved. You you're you're not just that catch and shoot shooter. You you've really expanded your game, and I'm excited. All right. So one quick question: Any hidden talents that you have? Any hidden talents? Um, I can draw really well. Yes, you can. She's the only <laughs> player that has drawings up in our museum, our art museum here on campus. Yep. That's pretty cool. All right. Rapid fire. Favorite food? Uh, dessert. Anything chocolate. Coolest music concert you've been to? Uh, Chris Brown. Favorite holiday? Uh, Christmas. Okay. Uh, favorite memory here at Oregon? Uh, definitely Final Four. Okay. Uh, name one way you could or would change the world if, if with a strike of a... <laughs> um, maybe helping uh, designing for social change or sustainability. Okay. Uh, last one, favorite Netflix series? Uh, New Girl. Okay. Awesome, Aaron. <laughs> we appreciate it. Looking yeah, forward thank to a you. great year. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you guys, the, you know, two for two and, and just special people, special players, great representatives of the University of Oregon. Every uh, alum that's listening right now should be very proud of, of those two. They represent you very, very well in the classroom and on the court. All right, I think uh, Taylor's up next. Hello. All right, Taylor, let's go. Uh, <laughs> Taylor's had a great fall, super competitive. Um, I, I can't wait to see uh, that, that toughness that she's going to bring. So, uh, Let's let's start way. Uh, let's start with this. In what ways are you expecting or hoping to make an impact on the team this year, Taylor? Um, I think I just want to up my contributions a little bit in regards to everything, um, especially leadership. I know we lost a lot of our returners last year because they graduated. So just being more vocal, just making a bigger impact in regards to every way I can. Well, um, you know, you make a huge impact and, and we're sure glad that you're here. And, and one thing I, I'm hoping that we not only have a, an NCAA tournament, that we have a deep NCAA tournament run because Taylor, you're, gonna, you're a junior now and you haven't had a chance to compete in the NCAA tournament yet. That's a weird thing. Tell us why. So my freshman year during our final four run, I had a stress fracture in one of my, one of my feet. Um, towards the end of Pac-12 regular season play. And then, of course, this past March, COVID stopped our season short. So I haven't been able to compete in a postseason yet, but I'm looking forward to it this year. So, Absolutely. And let's keep doing the right thing, everybody. Let's mask up, do the right thing. Um, Taylor, listen, I, uh, you're, you're from Arizona. That's where Mary's at right now. I know she's listening. She's down there for a week. <laughs> Uh, love you. Uh, Taylor, tell us about, uh, you know, where you're from and, and tell us about your family. Tell us about you a little bit. So I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I was born and raised there. I've lived there my whole life. Um, both my parents are from Phoenix, Arizona. My dad's whole side of the family lives in Phoenix. So I grew up with a lot of my cousins. Um, basketball also has been something that my family has always played. My dad and all his siblings played it. Both my parents played it. All my cousins played it growing up. So it's kind of just a family thing. So that's a little bit about me. Um, I know you guys know I went to Valley Vista High School. So yeah, that's a little bit about me, my family. I'm really close with all of them. I'm really excited to go home and see them for the holidays for Christmas. So yeah, well, and you have a family here on campus as well. You you uh, you live with a couple of players. Tell us about. Uh, Tell us about your living arrangement. Who's the dirtiest? Who's the cleanest? <laughs> oh, go gosh. Um, so I live with Niara. I've lived with Niara ever since I got to college. Um, it was me, her, and Satu who lived together the past two years. And then now I live with Jazz. And um, Josie, one of our managers, lives with, 
lives with us as well. And then um, Sedona lives on the same floor, but she might as well be a roommate because she is always hanging out with us. And we have a great time. I love being roommates with them. We all take turns cooking. We all take turns doing everything. And um, it feels really like a family. I mean, my family's from Phoenix. Niara's family's from Berlin. Jazz is from Australia. So we kind of got everything going on in that house all the time. It's pretty great. Well, that's pretty neat. Um, well, listen, you're one of the veterans. And so I, I can't ask this question of a lot of our uh, players. So I'm going to ask it of those that I can. You know, what um, what's some advice that you can give all our young kids? Um, you know, things that you've gone through. You've This is your third year now. You're an upperclassman. Give some advice to these kids. Um, and one all kids out there. A piece of advice I would give is that no matter what you do, there's going to be ups and downs in your college basketball journey. So I think the main thing is, is when you are in those downhill peaks and situations, you need to find a way to be positive and try to really get yourself out of it because it'd be easy just to sulk and sit in that um, slump or whatever you want to call it. But you really need to be positive and just um, have the right mindset and be tough-minded to get out of those situations so I mean I think you could remember there was a game my freshman year we were at Oregon State and I just I did not play well in the fourth quarter at all we ended up losing that game that kind of was my first situation I really got rattled in college so I mean that was a hurdle I had to get over and I think um, just you have to be mentally tough to get over situations like that and bounce back yeah I remember that game we were I think Sabrina was yelling at you to shoot the ball, right? You got a little <laughs> yeah, tentative. Sure. Yeah. Well, you know the team has confidence in you, and we start too, Taylor. We're expecting uh, big things from you. You're a great student as well. Uh, tell us what your major is. I am majoring in business accounting, and I am minoring in computer information technology. So that's what I'm doing. That's yeah, that's awesome. Smarty pants. Uh, okay. Uh, and she's great on social media too. So make sure you follow her. Uh, give us one thing that uh, maybe you can show us your favorite TikTok move. Do you have one? I don't. You need to ask Sedona or Niara for that one because they oh, know I all the dances. Will. I definitely will. Okay. Uh, okay. Do you have a hidden talent though? Oh man. I mean, mm, I like to paint. I'm pretty good at painting. I've just gotten into making jewelry in the past like month or so. So those are some things I've gotten into because of the pandemic. All right. Well, that's really cool. Guess what? Everybody's getting for Christmas presents this year, right? <laughs> yep. Okay. Necklaces. All right. Rapid fire, Taylor. We got about one minute. LeBron or Michael? LeBron, easy. Um, favorite WNBA team? Phoenix Mercury. Favorite player? Uh, Satu Sabali, Sprinty Unescu, Ruth Hebert. <laughs> ah, good answer. Guilty food pleasure? Ooh, uh, mm, probably Hot Cheetos. <laughs> okay. Uh, favorite TV show? Blacklist on Netflix. Okay. Favorite Kardashian? Mm, uh, probably Kim. <laughs> Okay. Uh, favorite candy or snack? Favorite candy, I would say hot tamales. Okay. And then, Taylor, give us one <clears throat> thing you would do to change the world. Because I know you can I... do it. Okay. I, we were just talking about this, whether it needed to be a serious answer or a not-so-serious answer. In regards to a serious answer, I would say um, homelessness trying to help fix that issue. Um, not so serious answer, I would say putting a Chick-fil-A in Eugene. <laughs> Let's go. All right, on that one, thank you, Taylor. Have a great year. Thank you. Hi, Grandma. Bye, Grandma. Oh, that's great. Okay, uh, I don't know who's next. I, I don't have a list. I just saw those three walk in. Okay, let's get going. Oh, all the way from down under. The country <laughs> that did it right. 
They did do it right. Tell us about that, Jazz. You got to be proud of Australia, man, in this pandemic. Yeah, very Yeah, so we, my family were on lockdown for about four months, 111 days or something they're on lockdown. And I experienced a couple of months of that when I went home. But they're finally out of it. And we've had zero cases for the last 21 days or something. Man, if, if we would have just done things differently, right? We yeah, would have it fans was, in, you know, hopefully, you know? Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, Jazz Shelley from just outside Melbourne, Australia, you mentioned your family. Tell us about your family. Sure. Um, so I have an older brother named Luke, an older sister, Sam, and a little brother, Ozzy. Obviously, my mom, her name's Kaz, and my dad's name, Phil. And and which one was the baller? Who who taught you to be a basketball player? A bit of both. So my dad is a shooting coach, so I learned how to shoot from him. And my mom has been my coach since I was about seven. Well, your dad was one of the, my favorite people ever. When you came on your visit here with him, he and I uh, got to share with each other dad jokes. And yeah. boy, he's got some really good ones or bad ones, however you want to. Bad. You know, <laughs> <laughs> What a, what a great guy. You have an amazing family. That was a fun. I remember going out and visiting you. But uh, yeah. hey, Jed, um, you had a, an amazing first season. You made 10 threes in one game. What mm -hmm. happens on a night like that? What what? How does that happen like that? I don't know. I think that game I was just in the zone. It was kind of all surreal that day. And I was lucky enough to have my teammates that were by the second half, they were setting up every play for me, every every horns I was in, every time I needed to come off and shoot, they were trying to find me. So it made it a lot easier. I just had to catch and shoot it, and they would set me up. Yeah. Well, what was your favorite memory last year? You've just been here the one year now. Uh, what was your favorite memory of everything that happened in that amazing season? For sure, the Virgin Islands. That was the best trip I've ever been on. That was pretty neat. We stayed in a pretty luxurious <laughs> hotel, didn't we? Oh, yeah. yeah, that was unreal. Yeah. Well, Jazz, describe your game. So for, for some fans, you've only been here one year. Maybe they haven't seen us. Mm -hmm. Tell us about. Yeah, so I'd probably say uh, poised. I I like to come off on balls, um, have a high IQ, I think. So I, um, I know I like to shoot it. Play D, play Team D. I don't know, I think my IQ is the main thing. Well, for those that don't know, Jazz has been selected uh, for the senior national team training pool. And I believe you're the youngest player in that pool, correct? Yeah, there, I think there's one other girl that's also around my age. And for those that don't know, Australia is, is uh, really USA's main rival when it comes to international basketball. They're two of the best countries yeah. in, the, in the world. So uh, we hope to see Jazz in the Olympics really pretty soon. I think that would, uh, that would be neat. Uh, who's been the biggest influence in your life, Jazz? Definitely my family. I'm not going to choose between my mom or my dad because I think they would fight. But my mom has had a big impact and so has my dad. But also my older brother has been huge for me. He's been a really big influence in my life. Now, have you decided on a major? Yeah, um, so I'm majoring in advertising and a minor in psychology. Okay. Uh, all right, so tell us one thing. Uh, give us a few words that are kind of funny that we say that you think is different because we speak the same mm -hmm. language. It's not a word, but when I came here, Ranch was a big thing. I don't think I've ever had ranch until I came to America, and now I put it on everything. I think ketchup, <laughs> ketchup was like your ranch. We would have that everywhere, but ranch is huge here. And the yeah. word finna. You... I never heard the word finna. <laughs> Wait, what? what is that word? When they, like, it means like trying. People say finna, and I had no idea what that meant for a really long time. <laughs> All right. Well, good. Well, what's uh, what what do people um, what would they be surprised to know about you that they may not know? Oh, so we I used to have a pet dingo. My my family had a pet dingo, which is like a wild dog. 
<laughs> His name was Ernie. <laughs> that way you're so wild. And yeah, tough. maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, any hidden talents, Jazz? Um, I was hoping I did not get this question. No, I don't. <laughs> no, no hidden talents. I wish. Well, make sure you look. Let, make sure you look Jazz up on her TikTok because her and her brother made some cool videos, uh, hot shot <laughs> videos this summer. It was pretty neat, Jazz. Those were cool. Yeah. Okay, you ready for rapid? All right, yeah, you ready for rapid fire questions? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Favorite food? Chicken parmesan. Let's go. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Okay. Favorite music artist or group? Ziggy Elvitz. Favorite Netflix series? Lucifer. Favorite movie of all time? Love and Basketball. <laughs> That's everybody's favorite, isn't it? Uh, favorite <laughs> WNBA player? Uh, Sabrina Satu and Ruthie. Okay. And then name one way you would want to change the world or could change I the world. Like Okay, well, Taylor got stuck on the spot just before and stole mine. I was going to say Chick-fil-A in Australia, and she heard me and took it. So now I'm stuck. I just got we'll mad at her on the way out for taking mine. <laughs> but Australia hey, needs well, Chick-fil-A. Hey, thank you. Uh, listen, we are blessed to have you as part of our program, man. I'm telling you, you brought so much energy. And... Uh, you're the hardest worker we have, man. I'm telling you, you're in that gym every single day getting extra shots up. So it's paying off. Thank you. Okay. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay. Who else we got here? I'll try and speed them up, but they're really interesting people. Why would you want to speed it up? What else are we doing on a Friday night? We're supposed to have a football game tonight, and there's no football game. But we have Niara instead. Niara Sabali. Her unveiling Hi. is going to be very soon. She's been here for like yeah. ages. What That's do you think? True. What yeah. Emotions are going through you right now. Um. Well, I'm really excited to finally like play. Even though um, it's not going to be like what a lot of fans on the court. But I'm still super excited to just be on the court with my team and just play finally. Well, Niara has been playing great. I'm telling <laughs> you, it, it's amazing. I don't, we don't have anybody like you. I don't think we've had anybody like you since I've been here and I can't yeah. wait to see you play. So I do have to ask this, who's your favorite sister? Oh, <laughs> well, I can't answer that. I have too many siblings for that. All of them. <laughs> uh, all right. Hey, Niara, you've had an amazing journey. Tell us about it. How did you get here? Um, well, I got here. Well, I played for the German national team um, since I was 15. Uh, and then I played in the European Championship U18s. Um, and then I, that was like the first time I was like exposed to like uh, recruiting. And obviously through Satu too. So when she committed here, I kind of knew that I was going to commit here too, just because we have always wanted to be at the same university. But Oregon showed really big interest in me too. That was like the major thing where I was like, oh, okay, I really want to go here because they don't just want me because my sister goes here, but they're also interested in the way I play. Absolutely. So how do you play? Describe your game. We haven't seen it, or the fans haven't seen it. Um, I would say I'm a very versatile post player. Like I'm kind of fast for my uh, like size. Um, uh, what else? I'm a good rebounder, I would say. Um, and yeah, the rest I'm still trying to figure out. I haven't played in so long, so <laughs> we'll see. Well, I think everybody's going to be pleasantly surprised at how really great you are. What are your professional and long-term goals? I mean, after Oregon. Um, well, after Oregon, I want to play uh, professional. Um, hopefully, I mean, obviously, I want to play in the WNBA and then in Europe um, during the regular season. 
for as long as I possibly can. And then I don't really know yet. Maybe I want to do something uh, in the advertising business because that's my uh, major here in Oregon. So, yeah. Okay. Well, I got a serious question. All right. We got a game to 20, a one on one, you and Satu, a healthy Niara <laughs> and Satu. Who's buying dinner? Who's going home with the money? Oh, I am. I just feel like I have to say it, <laughs> but I don't know. But Sato and I have I've read yeah, next, I, like, never played against each other, so I don't really know. But probably her. What, uh, um, and I know we've kind of talked about it, but what, who's been your biggest influence? Um, I would say my family, obviously. Uh, all of them. I have a really big family and we're all really close. So they're definitely the biggest influences of my life. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, all right. I have to do this because I know you have a, a social media presence. You, you've got to show it. You can stand up and go to the side or behind the chair. Show us your best TikTok move. You are so uh, good on TikTok. I knew this was going to come. Okay. I have one. Let me. Okay. So I have, uh, let me move this out of the way. I prepared for this. You can't see my head, but it's the dice roll. Oh, that was good. That was a good one. Yeah. That okay. Was be it. Yeah. Well, everybody should follow you on social media. You're great. Uh, I, 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 I enjoy it. I think it's neat to, to see inside who you are uh, personally. Uh, and the last thing, can you, Give up any dirt on any of your roommates. You live with Jazz and Taylor because you should have heard what they said about you. <laughs> That's great. No, they didn't. But... <laughs> no, I really enjoy living with them. It's it's great. Like, I've lived with Taylor since my freshman year, um, and she's like a sister to me. Um, Jazz is obviously great, too. I live with Josie, one of our managers. She's awesome, too. She's a really hard worker. And then basically Sedona, she's over all the time. And we just, we have a really good time. We cook a lot and do homework together. So that's good. You guys laugh a lot. I can hear them back there laughing. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah. Favorite WNBA team? Oh, Dallas. All right, guilty food pleasure. <laughs> um, I would say hot Cheetos. Okay, you've been a world traveler, but what's one place in the world you want to visit but haven't? Japan. Oh, can Where you hear you me? Want to visit? Oh, Japan. Yeah. Oh, Japan. Oh, yeah. I thought you said depends. Okay. Oh no. Uh, favorite <laughs> show or favorite Netflix? Uh, Avatar. Favorite music artist or group? Rod Wave. Okay, favorite uh, favorite holiday. Um, Christmas, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right. Last one is one way you could you want to change the world. Oh wow, that's deep. That's not a rapid fire question. <laughs> um, I would say find a vaccine for COVID. Okay, me too. Good one, <laughs> Niara. You you're gonna have a great season. We can't wait. Thank you. That and by the way, starts one week from tomorrow. Our first Pac-12 game is two weeks from today. I mean, I can't believe I'm saying that. We play Pac-12 basketball in two weeks. Okay. All right. Nate, Scott Labounty, uh, you guys, thanks for everything you do. All right. Sedona, let's cut to the chase. Let's get right to your TikTok. <laughs> favorite TikTok move. Come on. Let's go. Let's okay. I got to say number this are so talented. We need Thanks, to move that camera. Six, seven. There we go. Oh, okay, I got it. Right. You're right. I'm a little tall. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, it's just a simple woe. Okay, but there's like different types to, of woes, right? So there's like a simple woe, but Taylor, Mike's own, and I've worked on a new woe, and it's kind of like this. It's like, <laughs> but that's it. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> All right. You are one of the most interesting people that I think I've ever had the opportunity to coach. Um, 
uh, certainly an interesting player. You have so many skills, uh, certainly for person your your height. So it's kind of describe your game to people. Where are you good? Where are you bad? What are you trying to work on right now? Yeah, so um, I think something that makes my game special is that like I'm not just a regular six foot seven, you know, post. And I try to like bring in any guard skills I can that I've like learned growing up. Um, I practiced a lot of like guard skills when I was younger and worked on, you know, like dribbling moves, which a lot of younger tall girls weren't doing. And so uh, my favorite move is a fadeaway, you know, that I do the whole time in practice. <laughs> and you tell me sometimes to, to go strong to the basket. That's something that I'm working on and make sure I'm finishing strong. But I do like my fadeaway and it's something that like makes my game special and that, you know, it's like, it is my easiest way to score in the most fun way. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, they're showing some highlights there behind you. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I see it. So tell us cool. about Sorry, go ahead. Oh, tell us about your family. Um, my family, I have my mom, Tambra, uh, my dad, James, and then my older brother, Diego. They all live in Austin, Texas, and I get to see them for Christmas. So I'm really excited. Um, I, I kind of, I'm bouncing around here. I, I need to do a better job of Dave, David Letterman. But Sedona, you have so much confidence. And, um, you know, and sometimes in, in tall women, that, that can be, um, uh, you know, that's not always the case. Where did the confidence come from? Why, why are you so self-assured? And I, I love that about you. That, that's why you can do anything. Thanks, Coach. I would say my mom. My mom grew up or taught me to always love myself and even if I'm 6'10", 5'10", to just like love who I am because I can't change it. And she always like helped me and pushed me to, to watch women in the WNBA and how confident they were. And so having those role models and her as, as women in my life that I could look up to and, and learn from was really special for me. And that's, that's definitely helped me and guided me to be here. Yeah. Well, you're certainly making an impact. There's no question. You're a great example to our young players. Do you have some advice for them? Yeah, I would say just to keep working hard. I remember I got told to quit playing basketball when I was in the fourth grade. And if I were to listen to that, then I wouldn't be here, wouldn't be playing for you. And so I'd say believe in yourself more than anything. You know, it's, it's going to take you far and, and never, you know, never give up because it's just, you know, you can do anything that you believe. Yeah. Tell us about your academic studies. What are you, what are you studying? What do you hope to do after your pro career is over? So I am focused on this right now. And after my pro career, I would love to take over my family business in Austin and run some restaurants and then eventually open a tattoo shop in Austin, Texas. It's like my big dream, my big goal down the future and, and give tattoos and stuff and just have a friendly place where people can come and hang out. So yeah, that's my that's my end goal, but you know, get the professional career first. Do you have a tattoo you can show us that you're proud of? Um, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I I'd, have a few. This is my. This is the Austin skyline. You can't really see it, but this is my favorite tattoo. It's like the Austin skyline, and I got it in Austin, so it's one of my favorites, and I I love it a lot because it's it's home. Yeah. And if you haven't been to Austin, go. It is a fun place, a really neat place. Uh, yeah, okay. it's awesome. Any hidden talents other than your terrific artwork <laughs> and tattoos? Um. I played the clarinet in high school and I could kind of play the banjo, but other than that, not much. I would say my tattoos is like my, my main hidden talent that people, I mean, people know about it now because of TikTok and stuff, but that's something that like I really love and it's, it's definitely a passion of mine. Good. Well, Sedona, I, I'm so excited, um, you know, to, to see your uh, debut here very shortly. Um, it, it, you've just been incredible. And uh, I think people are going to be amazed at, at how good you are. So, uh, but let's see how good you are at rapid fire questions. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Let's, let's go. Do it. Favorite food? Pizza. Okay, you got those Austin City Lights or City Limits, whatever they call it. Coolest music concert you've been to? I've been to a Beyonce concert. Definitely top, top, top one. Oh. It's the best. <laughs> oh, I would love it. Favorite holiday? New Year's Eve. Okay. Uh, favorite TV show? Wait, New Arrested Year's Eve? Eve. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new one. Uh, just, is that a just... holiday? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, favorite Netflix series? Uh, Arrested Development. 
Okay. Oh, I love that. Uh, favorite Nike shoe? Uh, Air Forces for sure. Guilty food pleasure? Oof. Uh, goldfish because I eat them like, I eat like six packs a day in practice if you haven't noticed. I, they're my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> um, and then one place you want to visit that you haven't been to. I know you've traveled with USA Basketball, but uh, what, uh, what's one place? I would love to go to Greece. It's like my my dream vacation one day. Got a good joke for you. Where were the first donuts <laughs> fried? <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Donna, you are going to change the world. So how would you do it? I would... I would try to find a way to empower all young women and let young women know that, you know, no matter what you go through, you're strong and, and powerful. Like that's my saying. And that's what I love saying to myself every day. And so, yeah, just to build programs and stuff for young women growing up and children. And yeah, I'd also like to end world hunger, but it's, you know, different story. So, yeah. <laughs> you are a strong and powerful woman. We love you, Sedona. Um, bring on the next victim. Good luck this year. Okay. Thanks coach. Appreciate it. You got it. Just a freshman. I kid her sometimes with the with the new rules this year where they get uh, our students get the year back. I told her she could be sometime a, a seventh year senior when all said and done. But I, I don't think we're going to keep her around here for seven years. All right. Who's on the camera? We'll move this along. I think we'll... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, Ari, tell us a little bit about you. And your family, where are you from? Um, I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, I'm the youngest of, our, of all my siblings. I have two sisters and one brother. Okay, tell us about your mom and dad. What, what do they do? Because I, I, I got a little joke here. <laughs> okay, my dad works at Fayetteville and my mom, she's a um, special needs teacher. So mom's a teacher, dad works at FedEx. So education is important to you and you're always on time, right? You're always yes, on sir. time. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, Ari is about 6'5". Are you 6'5 or 6'6"? Six, six? Um, I'm 6'5". Six, 6'5", five. Six, five, and loves to shoot the three and shoots it really well. Uh, tell us about where you, where you were at before you got to Oregon and why, why Oregon, Ari? Um, before I got to Oregon, I was at um, Kilgore College in Texas, um, and I chose Oregon because I just felt like um, y'all was the right school that knew what to do with me and my height and the way that I play. I thought it was a good yeah, option. We're watching some highlights, and it looks like you're a lot taller than everybody. You get here, and suddenly you've got Liddy at 6'6", six, six, and Sedona at 6'7", and Yar at 6'5". You look a lot of people in the eye here, don't you? Uh oh, did you? Did I cut you off? Hey, who's been the biggest influence in your life, Ari? Um, I would say my family. Um, they're the biggest influence in my life. They get me through anything. They've been there through everything, so they're my biggest influence. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And what now? What are you studying here at at the university? Um, communication disorders and science. Okay. Now, so is that similar to what your mom, is that something that she may have studied when she was in school? Yes, similar? that's it's something similar. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, describe your game in three words or describe, not your game. You know what? We saw a little bit. Describe you in three words, Ari. Um, I would say um, outgoing, I'm funny, and caring. Okay. Yes, you are. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's see, I'm kind of going through these. I'm trying to get, pick the ones that are just best for you. Uh, in what ways are you uh, hoping to make an impact on and off the court with this team? Um, to just have high energy leadership and just be hardworking on and off the court. Well, Ari, you've been terrific. It's been so fun having you as part of our team. And I'll tell you what, you're getting better too. You have really improved in the couple of months that you're here. Uh, I know you're an awesome teammate. 
Uh, just a few more questions. Do you have any hidden talents or is there something that about you that would surprise people? Um, I don't have any hidden talent. I guess I could say um, I'm the tallest one in my family, like out of my whole family, I'm the tallest female. And then my granddad, he was seven feet. So I guess you could say he's the tallest male in my family. So, yeah. So you can say that people look up to you in more ways than one, right? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, absolutely. <laughs> Okay. All right, Ari, we're going to do some rapid fire questions. You ready? Yes. LeBron or Michael? Michael. You're in big trouble tomorrow. We're going to have to do some, <laughs> going to have to do some suicide. Um, favorite WNBA team, Ari? Um, the LA Sparks. Okay. Guilty food pleasure. Um, um, I get it from my dad, so I got to say butter pecan ice cream. Okay, awesome. Uh, what's your favorite movie of all time? What could you watch over and over and over? Um, I would say, because of my sister, I'm going to say Malibu's Most Wanted. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, do you watch the Kardashians? I do. Which one's your favorite? Um, Courtney. Okay. Favorite music artist or group? Chris Brown. For holiday? Uh, Christmas. Okay, it's coming up. And the last thing I ask this of everybody, what's one way you want to change the world? Um, I would say to have built more places for homeless people to be able to stay and live. Ari, thank you. You're amazing. Thank you, Coach. Good luck this year. Thank you. Okay, I got to get this moving along, huh? I think we're over halfway, though. They're, they're man, they are so amazing. They're interesting. I, I want to talk to them all the time, and I know all this stuff. Taylor Mike Sell, the pride How are you? of Ohio. Yes, sir. All right, Taylor. So you transferred to Oregon mm -hmm. after two amazing years at Maryland. I mean, you were a big-time player, Big Ten freshman of the year, all-conference. Why? Why would you leave? Why Oregon? Um, I think I was just really looking for a better fit uh, for my offensive style. And then just um, I think Oregon really fit my playing style the best. Um, and then obviously the success, success that you guys have had over the years um, was really one of the biggest reasons why I came here. But then obviously the family atmosphere and then wanting to win a national championship. I feel like I have the best uh, chance to do that here with, with this team. Well, you're a young woman from the Midwest, and you went to school on the East Coast. What do you think of Oregon so far? You know, the Eugene, the, the state, I don't know how much you've seen, but what do you think so far? Uh, it's really beautiful out here. I think, like, the summer was a time that we got to see, like, um, more of the nice weather and obviously being able to go down to the river um, and just see different sites. I think right now, obviously, we're more focused on basketball, but um, in the summer it was cool just to see different um, – different sites that I haven't obviously seen being from Ohio and then uh, going to school in Maryland. Okay. Uh, I heard you had, uh, well, I'm going to ask you this question right now. So I don't forget it. LeBron or Michael? <laughs> LeBron hands down. No, let's go. Let's go. He uh, tell us about uh, an experience uh, one night at uh, one uh, of your games. Okay. So he is actually with my basketball trainer um, and my basketball trainer has posted videos of me working out uh, since four years ago, since we started working out together. Uh, and LeBron follows him and was asking him about me. Um, and I got a text one night before one of my games saying I might have a surprise for you. Um, I already knew what it was because we had been talking about it and uh, the national the national anthem was playing um, and everybody started looking up at the corner of the, of the gym and we all just looked to the left and, and LeBron was was sitting there. It was, it was pretty awesome. So we had a sellout game that that game it was pretty cool. 
Now, was that the night you went for 60? No, that was not the same game, but uh, that would have been cool. That would have been cool. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Taylor, uh, we have two Taylors this year, by the way. Uh, next year, we'll have three. But, Taylor, tell us about your family. Um, my mom's name is Teresa. She is a first and second grade teacher. Um, my dad is a doctor. He used to be in the ER and now he's doing urgent cares. Um, I have an older brother. He's a year older than me. And then uh, two little puppies. And two little puppies. What are their names? And what kind of dogs? Uh, they're both Shih Tzus. And one of them is Mocha and the other one is Boomer. Love it. Love it. Well, have you decided yet on a major? Yeah, so actually I was a communications major, but uh, after transferring the credits, not all of them transferred. So I'm going to be a sociology major with a minor in sports marketing. Okay. Well, good for you. And who's been the biggest influence in your life up till now? I would definitely say my mom and my dad. Um, kind of growing up, I saw their work ethic and kind of how they, they took – um, working hard in their career and just um, in their daily lives and then kind of just put that into my sport and then what I was uh, all the goals that I was trying to achieve and that's been the biggest thing I've taken away. Do you remember one piece of advice that anybody's given you that's really s stuck with you? Yeah I think the biggest thing is being like resilient and persistent. Um, I think those that's kind of stuck with me the longest because you know, you're going to go through things, even like this pandemic has been an example of that. Just staying resistant and resilient in this, um, or persistent and resilient in this time. Okay. Uh, just tell us one thing, uh, you know, do you have a hidden talent? Um, so actually we have a ping pong table in my basement and my dad and my brother and I used to have little like ping pong tournaments when, when I was in high school. So I'm saying ping pong, but it's been, it's been a little while since I played. Okay, we got a ping pong table at the house. Let's go. Hey, uh, and then you no, know, I know uh, you like that TikTok thing. I I see you over there. You guys working on some stuff. Do you have a move that you want to show? <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I got you. I got you. Uh, this one is for my uh, my buddy uh, Tahina. She likes a good old dice roll. So you know. Okay. That's, uh, that's, that's my go-to. All right. Well, Taylor, quick, rapid fire. Guilty food pleasure. Chipotle. Okay. One place in the world you'd want to visit. Ooh, probably the Bahamas. Favorite snack. Ooh, probably Cheez-Its. Okay. Favorite uh, Netflix series. New Girl or Money Heist. Okay. Um, coolest music concert you've ever been to? Um, I've only been to one music concert. I've been to uh, Justin Bieber um, when he sang Baby back when I was 11. So I'm going to say that. I'm familiar with that. How do you say? Would you sing that for us? <laughs> no, no, no. I can't sing. I can't okay. sing. Okay. The last question, Taylor. Uh, what way do you want to change the world? Um, I think just to be able to inspire the youth coming up and just encourage them to work hard and chase their dreams. Um, and then on a, on a not so serious note, uh, I'm going to take uh, Taylor Chavez's route and say I would like to open a Raising Cane's in Eugene. Let's go. We like the food, <laughs> obviously the junk food on our team, but we're working <laughs> on it. Hey, Taylor, yep. thank you very much. Have a great year. Thank you. All right. You guys, Taylor is an amazing shooter. She is elite. I would put her and, and Aaron Bowley both as one of the top five shooters, maybe three shooters, maybe top two shooters in the nation. All right. So now I think we turn to the Fab Five freshmen. I don't know which one's first. Let's go. <laughs> Angela. Tell everybody how you pronounce your last name, because I've heard it a hundred ways. I know what it is, but what is it? Um, my last name is Dugalic. Dugalic, awesome. <laughs> and what? Uh, and and you're 
What nationality? I'm Serbian. It is in Europe. And and tell us about this past summer. I mean, you or the back actually past two summers and what you got the opportunity to do. Yeah, I've got the experience to go play for the Serbian national team. Um, last year, I was uh, there when they played in the Eurobasket tournament, um, which was, I mean, it was great, like just experience that, experiencing that. Um, and then this year, due to COVID, we didn't have the Olympics or anything else, but um, I would have tried out to go to the Olympics. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're amazing. And I guess we're covering the basketball kind of side of things here first. Look at that behind the back pass. But at 6'4", you're incredibly skilled. Um, you shoot from the inside, from the outside, great handles, good rebounder. And what I love about you is an awesome passer. So tell us about, um, you know, how you learned to play basketball, where you're from, and, and then tell us also a little bit about your family, would you, Angela? Yeah, so both of my parents were born um, in Serbia, and then my brother and I were born in Chicago. I was raised there all my life. Um, and then, so yeah, uh, my brother played basketball mainly, and then I sort of picked that up from him. Uh, my parents just wanted me to play sports, whatever it was. I actually started uh, out with soccer and played for seven years of my life, and then I like dabbled in basketball as well and volleyball. And then in high school, I just focused on volleyball and basketball. And then basketball was my senior year, it's all that. Yeah, well, I still remember your home visit. Uh, we had an awesome meal, by the way. And just talking oh. to your, your mom, you was a, a, like a national level handball, team handball player. And what is yeah. your dad? Tell him, tell him what your dad does. So my dad currently like plays Korek soccer, um, but he used to be uh, into judo and he was uh, crazy. He did judo, basically like all martial arts, karate, all that stuff. He showed me, he put me in a hold that if he was angry or if I would have said something stupid, he would have broken several bones. I mean, it was like, yeah. I couldn't believe it. And he I once told me, Tommy, he said, what's Tommy that? Told me about, Tommy told me about that like a week ago. And I was like, I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was funny. And he told me, I didn't know much about it. And he said, you know, judo is the one that all the other martial artists are afraid of because once you get in a hold, it's over. So anyway, you have an amazing family. They are so cool. Um, Thank but you. Angela, you could have gone anywhere in the country. I mean, um, you know, state champ, highly decorated player. Why Oregon? Um, well, it isn't close to my family, which was like one of the factors that I was like concerned about. But um, I mean, I've been doing pretty well with that. Um, just the culture and the family atmosphere. Um, and I know what everyone brings. So it's like when I when I talked with you guys over the phone, it just felt different. It felt better than the rest. Yeah, well, that's awesome. Well, we we love everything about you and you're you're just a perfect fit here. Have you decided yet on a major, Angela? Uh, I was going into the business field, but now uh, we'll see. Well, I'm not quite sure yet. Okay, you've got a lot of time. That's the, the one great thing about being a freshman. You can try a little of everything. Um, any hidden talents that that you wanna show off tonight? I could juggle, but I, I don't have anything that I could juggle with. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I could juggle basketball, so yeah. Take your word for it. I'm sure you can. As a student athlete, you've gotta juggle a lot of things, homework, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Basketball, social life, everything. Yeah. Um, okay, you ready for rapid fire? Hit me. All right. Let's start with an easy one. What's your favorite food? Um, Serbian food. Okay, favorite snack. Wait, wait, what's Serbian food? Give us an example. Uh, I'll give you two, Chevapi and Burek. 
Okay, what are those? Chavapi, you have this on your official visit. It's basically just like similar to a sausage link, but different meat. And burek is, I would say the closest thing I can say, like compared to is like a cheese pie, but it is not sweet. And you have it for breakfast in the morning with milk. Okay. Are you making that now? Oh, I wish, but I don't know how. <laughs> oh, okay. I got you. All right. Do you watch Netflix? What's your favorite series? The Office, hands down. Love it. You and me both. Yes. <laughs> Love the, you know which one they had on Comedy Central was uh, the basketball game one down in the I, warehouse. I have a sticker of that one in on my um, my water bottle. <laughs> Blast. Oh, I love that one. Um, favorite movie? Uh, any any Marvel movie. Avengers. Okay. Awesome. Favorite WNBA team? Chicago Sky. Let's go. And then one way you want to change the world? Um, currently, it would be to find a cure for COVID. But um, if we weren't in this situation today, it would be to restore um, the world's climate. Awesome. You're amazing, Angela. I have complete faith that you will change the world one day. Hopefully. All right. <laughs> see you later. I'll see you in the morning for practice. All right. See you then. Thank you. Hey, she's amazing. She she stays after every practice and just gets shots up. Just gets shots up. Um, really hard worker. Very skilled, you guys. You're you're looking at at one what could be one of the best players in the country in some time. Okay, who's up? Another freshman, Sydney Parrish. Hi. Our top, our top recruiter last year. Sydney was the I first tried one to commit to Duck, <laughs> and some great talent followed. Sydney, why the Ducks? What made you decide um, this is where you wanted to go? Um, well, ever since I started talking to you guys and came on my unofficial and official visit uh, with the here, I fell in love with the culture. I fell in love with um, just the winning atmosphere, and it was a perfect place for me, and I didn't really feel like anywhere else felt like home like here did. Yeah. You, uh, I think you got a future in politics, kiddo, because, you, you know, everybody likes you. You know, I, <laughs> you know, in the recruitment circuit and I talk to coaches all over the country. We vet you guys, you know, it's not just a, Hey, she's pretty good. Let's try and get her. We make sure you're the right fit for us and everybody loves you. How come what's, what do you got going on? What's the deal? Um, I really don't know. I'm really social and I love meeting new people and making new friends. So just being like in the EYBL circuit, being a part of blue star 30, that kind of stuff. Um, I just tried to meet and get to know as many new people as I could. And I made best friends out of it. And some of them are now my roommates and my teammates. So that's pretty cool. Tell us about that roommate situation. <laughs> well, I live Who's with, um, I live with Angela, Kylie and Maddie and the messiest would probably have to be Kylie. <laughs> okay. Now, you know that I'm going to ask them something about you, right? You know oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Got the whole world watching. Uh, hey, listen, I know there's probably kids out there listening, you know, young ones that that look up to you guys. I, I want to tell you something. I The first time I saw Sydney was in Washington, D.C., and it was uh, just a, at a little camp where they would work on skills and things like that. And what really impressed me about Sydney was that when the coach asked for a volunteer or somebody wanted to go first, she was always the one that raised her hand or jumped up and got right to it. And that really told me something about you. And maybe a lot of coaches wouldn't notice that, but that's what I really appreciate about you, uh, Sydney. You you take chances and uh, uh, and you're a leader. And so I, I appreciate that. But um, yeah. let, let's talk a little bit more about you. That That's a recruiting story. <laughs> Uh, tell us about your family, Sydney. Where are you from? And tell us about your family. I'm from Fishers, Indiana, and I have my mom, Amy, and my dad, Sean. 
Um, they're still back in Indiana. And then I have an older sister, Lauren, and she swims at the University of Kansas. And, and she's a, a SAC leader, right? She's a student athlete leader at Kansas. Yep, she's a part of many organizations and clubs at Kansas. So I really look up to her in that aspect. So she's a really good leader. Hey, and she's a swimmer. That's not easy, is it? <laughs> no, it has to be one of the hardest sports I've ever. I mean, I swam when I was younger, but she does that at a whole nother level. And I don't understand how swimmers do what they do. Yeah. Well, now tell us that your dad was a hooper. He, he played back in my era with the short shorts. A little embarrassing. Yep. Yep. Uh, what, uh, how, how big an influence was, was dad on, on you? Uh, he was a huge influence on me growing up. Um, he's always been my coach, um, whether it's an AU or high school. He trained me ever since I was younger in my ba in my backyard. I had a little basketball court, so we would always just be out there. He'd always rebound for me. He wanted to make me better, and we just had a really good relationship on and off the court. You know, I'm watching that video back there. That was your state championship game. Look at the uh, arena, completely full. Yeah. I mean Basketball in Indiana is a religion, isn't it? It really is. It's I never really noticed because I was always normal to me, but I noticed once I went to other states and drove in neighborhoods, there wasn't basketball hoops at every single house. And that's how it really is in Indiana. You will never find a house without a basketball hoop outside of it. Yeah, now I you know, now what about you shrinking in a big moment? I mean, state championship game. You went for like 40 in that game. How <laughs> cool was that, huh? Talk about yeah, it was, coming up big. Yeah, it was a crazy experience. I didn't really know. We didn't um, get to practice at the arena beforehand because there was a concert like two days before. So it was a crazy experience. And we had the most um, people to ever show up to one of the girls' state championship games. Yeah, that was neat. And that's what I love about you. You know, when the, you, you rise, when the big moment um you know, is, is there. So you just keep that up. Uh, hey, th give me three words that describe who you are. Um, I would say loud, uh, social. And we were talking about this in my room beforehand and they all agreed sparkly because everything I have is like pink and sparkly. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Um, and then what uh, what's the one thing that people may not know about you because you know you're, you're kind of out there you know social media you have lots of friends there's got to be something that people just don't know i really don't i can't think of anything that people don't know about me yet um i recently bought a chameleon so not a lot of people know about that yet so since my mom found out now i can like put it out on social media and show people that i have a chameleon as a pet okay the chameleon <laughs> don't know they don't see it right exactly. uh, okay did you ready for uh, some rapid fire yep i'm ready lebron or michael lebron let's go kiddo I only out of the people that I know will answer correctly. Uh, <laughs> guilty food pleasure. Donuts. Okay. One place in the world you want to visit. Bora Bora. Favorite movie of all time. Uh, Love and Basketball. Okay. Favorite music artist or group. Uh, Justin Bieber. And have you been to a Bieber concert? I have. Yep. Was that the coolest concert you've ever been to? Um, Probably not. I'd say the coolest concert I've been to, I went to a music festival called Lollapalooza in Chicago. And I think that was the coolest. All right. Last question. Uh, how, what one way would you like to change the world? Uh, right now, just try to find a cure to COVID. So then we, everything can be back to normal. So we can get those 12,000 fans in Matthew Knight Arena to watch this yep. amazing team. Thank you, yeah. Sydney. Thank you. you. Send in that. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Yeah, she's uh, an elite shooter too. It. I'll tell you what, you better not leave our players open because they can make bad.
baskets, man. Three at a time. All right. I think we've got uh, three left. I'm going to get this done and get it done in an hour. Kylie Watson. Let's go. The pride of New Jersey. Yes. First of all, you got to tell us, you live in the most wonderful place in the world. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's a really small town and it's about like 10 minutes from the beach. So when you visited me, we were in Ocean City, which is actually our rival high school, ironically, but it's it's really fun. There's a boardwalk and a bunch of things to do and it's it's a pretty cool place to live. So I, I, I love that home visit. I had so much fun uh, going on the boardwalk and going to all the places you told me to go to. Um, you've got an amazing family. Watched an Eagle game that night. Remember that? Yes. Um, tell, us, I, tell us about, about your family. Yeah, so I have two younger brothers. Um, they both play football. The one's kind of young, so he's kind of just getting into sports and stuff. And then my mom and dad are both high school teachers. They both played college sports. So my mom played college basketball at Delaware, and my dad played at the University of Maryland and eventually played for the Seahawks until he had a career-ending injury. Um, and then my dad actually had just retired from high school, from coaching high school football, um, and my mom – actually just retired from coaching high school basketball too. So they're both done with that, but. Yeah, beautiful family. They could they could have their own uh, uh, TV show. <laughs> Thank Reality you. TV series, great family, they're a lot of fun. Kai, you could have gone anywhere. I mean, you, you're one of the, the highest regarded player in the country and you chose Oregon. You just chose to go cross country. I mean, we're about as far away as you can get. Yeah. <laughs> What, and and what, what made you want to come out here? Yeah, I mean, despite it being probably the furthest school that I could have gone to, it had the most family feel than any other school I visited. Um, just the culture and seeing how you guys interacted with one another and just the success that you've had over the years was so fun to watch. And I found myself really wanting to root for you guys and wanting to see your success. So that's kind of what I knew. Well, we always want to root for you, too. And uh, you were very successful in high school. You won your school's first state championship. How cool was that? Yeah, that was awesome. And it was with um, a bunch of the girls that I had grown up with my whole life. So just being able to do it with them and already having that chemistry, that was so important. It was just something really cool that we were able to do for such a small town. And you were a Philadelphia Bell. There's mm -hmm. been some great Philly Bell. Brianna Stewart, Nicole Powell, and now Kylie Watson, the legend. Yeah, they definitely have a really great legacy, and that program was so impactful and means so much to me. And I, they had a huge role in my development as a person and a player. So. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, you're an outstanding student. Um, you know, I know you never got anything less than an A in high school. Um, what, uh, what, what do you want to study? I mean, Kai, what? What do you want to be when you're up? That's a really good question that I don't really know the answer to right now. Um, I'm currently undecided and just kind of get a feel of things. I was thinking more of like the psychology route or something along those lines, but I'm still kind of figuring it out. So. Okay. Well, describe your game to everybody because, you know, you got, got some new fans that are watching tonight. What do you do? Who yeah, are you? Uh, How do you play? <laughs> Um, I always just try to be the hardest worker and control what I can control on the court. And that was a lesson that my dad taught me since I was young. You can't really control if like the shots are going in or stuff, but you can control like rebounds and just doing the small thing and being the best teammate that you can be. Yeah, I, I really feel you have a chance to be one of the, the premier rebounders in, in the country. Um, you know, you're so strong. You can run the floor. You're so skilled inside and out. Uh, I know everybody's... Uh, excited to you know finally get to see you play i wish they could see us in the arena um but uh, uh well you already talked about the advice what what long term uh in terms of professional basketball is that something that you want to do for sure i mean if i'm given the opportunity and things go as planned i really hope to play professionally whether that's in the WNBA or overseas um and then after that, I'm still kind of, like I said before, trying to figure out what I want to do with the rest of my life. So, Okay. Yeah, well, it's a bright future. Uh, oh, oh, to have that kind of a future. Well, uh, <laughs> Kylie, 
Hey, what, uh, what, uh, do you have any hidden talents that you want to reveal or is um, there something that people don't know? Um, I don't really have any hidden talents. Um, I'm not really sure what people might not know about me either. Other than that, I was going to say that this is probably the furthest school that I could have gone to as a fun fact, but I kind of already said that. Okay. All right. Well, listen, let's go for some rapid fire questions. Um, guilty food pleasure. Um, chocolate chip cookies. Okay. Favorite holiday. Christmas. Uh, favorite music artist or group. Um, J. Cole. Favorite movie. Did I already ask you that? No, you didn't. Um, Infinity War. So Marvel. That was pretty good. That was good. Um, uh, let's see. Fav the uh, 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 um, best roommate. All of them. I can't choose. Love them all. <laughs> oh, I would get you. All right, Kylie. You have the ability to change the world. I truly do believe that. Uh, if the world was in your hands, we'd be in a better place. How would you change it? And how could you impact the world? I mean, right now, I think someone already said it, but just to find a cure for COVID to get a little bit of normalcy back in our lives. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I w I'm with you. Well, listen, Kylie, thank you. So best of luck this year. I'll see you in the morning in practice, okay? Awesome. Thank you. All right. Bye. <laughs> okay, we have two left. I hope... Everybody is hanging in there. I know it's getting late on the East Coast. Um, used to be early. 10 o'clock, that's kind of when you start to go out. We have Maddie Shear with us. All the way from Ken Kentucky. Right? Yeah. Uh, Maddie, tell us about the amazing place you live, uh, you know, and, and, the, and the people you live with. Talk about your family. Um, so my parents' names are Amy and Rick. Um, they both are in full-time ministry. I am the youngest of three. I have an older brother named Jacob and then an older sister named Samantha. Um, and yeah, we all live in Northern Kentucky and it's great. Now, Northern Kentucky, so it's right outside of Cincinnati, right? You're in a suburb, so to speak, Cincinnati. Yes, right. So are you a Cincinnati fan of like sports? and stuff or do you you're about Kentucky um I say we lean a little bit towards Cincinnati my mom's side of the family is from Cincinnati we're definitely Bengals fans unfortunately <laughs> so hey you've got a great young quarterback though yes, are looking yes. Up. yeah yeah eight or eight player of the year in the state of Kentucky won a state championship tell us about that that memory yeah, it was great. You know, I got to um, play with some of my best friends and, you know, we got a chance to win a state championship my junior year. And, you know, we were wanting to win one again my senior year. And, um, you know, unfortunately, with all this COVID stuff, it got canceled. But it was definitely a great run that year, winning state and got to make a lot of fun memories. Well, we're showing some highlights right now. I, I get mesmerized with your highlights. I've seen them a bunch over the years. Um, you know, the one thing about Maddie that I hope our fans will appreciate, you've got to keep seeing her play. Uh, if you just watched her one time, you know, all the little nuances of the game of basketball, you may not, not my goodness, she uh, can really fill up a stat sheet and has done a great job uh, already. This. Describe your game uh, to somebody that, that may not, uh, you know, have seen it. Um, I'd probably say I'm definitely a pass first guard, um, but I'm definitely one who I'm versatile so I can rebound and um, score, but also on the defensive side, I like to bring the intensity there and get, you know, do the little things like steals and deflections that, you know, ultimately will, like you said, um, rack up the stat sheet and hopefully just help the team win in the long run. Well, I'm already going to put you in the category of Maite Cazorla and, and uh, Mignon Moore as two of our, you know, 
who were two of our best. I, I put you in that class. I think you have a chance to really impact the game on that side of the, the, the ball, so to speak. Who's been your greatest influence? Um, I'd probably say just my parents. They definitely, you know, been there through it all, obviously, and they've definitely been my biggest supporters, whether it's, you know, on the court, off the court, it seems like they always just know what to say to me. So what what's one bit of advice that they gave you that's really stuck with you all these years? Um, I don't know if a certain phrase um sticks out to me, but definitely just the concept of just to never give up and to work hard in everything you do, no matter what it is. So. Yeah, well, that's great. Well, uh, I know you're a freshman. Uh, what academically have you kind of figured some th things out already? What do you want to do in that area? Um, I have, I don't have anything set. I'm leaning towards psychology because I'm kind of interested in that. And I, you know, hopefully want to be in a field of like helping people. So I thought that could be a route, but I'm really unsure. So. Okay. All right. Uh, and then uh, one of the, the same question I asked uh, all your cohorts in this class, why Oregon? This is a long way away from home and you had options everywhere. Yeah. Although it's, you know, obviously across the country, I think, you know, like the other girl said, you could really feel the family atmosphere and there's something about the culture. And, you know, when I took my visit here, just talking with the girls and the coaches and even like, everyone's telling me just how great it is. And you could feel that not only, you know, everyone says, talks about family atmosphere, but I think with Oregon, I could really feel that. So. And I think what you'll appreciate, you probably don't see it right now, but I think family is, um, it's, it's campus wide. I think there's a great spirit here at the University of Oregon, Maddie. And I know right now it's difficult, but you know, hopefully all of you guys, you young ones, just hang in there, you know, and, um, you know, soon we'll be back to normal. So, hey, a couple last questions here. Uh, what's the one thing? Do you have a hidden talent or something that, that people don't know about you? Um, I can make a three-leaf clover with my tongue. Ready? Okay. Prepared to do that? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Well, if the basketball thing doesn't work out, you got a job in the circus someday. <laughs> yeah, I guess. That's a, that's a joke. That's a dad joke. <laughs> the basketball thing will work out, Maddie. You're doing great. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's uh, really fun coaching you. Okay, rapid fire questions. Um, let's go. Your favorite WNBA player? Um, Diana Taurasi. Okay, guilty food pleasure. Um, sour gummy worms. One place in the world you want to visit? New Zealand. Favorite mus uh, musician or group? Artist or group? Um, Mac Miller. Okay, favorite food? Uh, pasta. Okay. What was the question? Okay. Sorry, you like broke. Favorite holiday? Oh, Christmas. Okay. And then how are you into the world, Maddie? Um, like everybody said, get rid of this COVID somehow. Okay. Anybody you want to say hi to out there? Um, I'm sure my parents are watching. So hi, mom and dad. <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you. Send Tahina in. You. She's the last, I believe. So I'm thankful for all the fans. Hopefully you stuck with us. These guys are so interesting and I'm, I'm really proud of them, uh, just who they are, what they believe in. And, and my goodness, they're really talented. They're going to be fun to. All right. We've got Tahina Pow Pow last, but definitely not. All right, T you've got an interesting story. Tell us about that awesome family of yours. Um, I have four brothers, one sister, um, my parents, obviously, um, my dad's a pastor, my mom works at Costco. <laughs> Fun fact, um, I'm rooming with my siblings. I live with my sister and brother and they're here in Eugene. <laughs> yeah. What's your brother's nickname? I love it. Tofi? <laughs> Tofi, go. Hey. <laughs> okay. 
He's, uh, he's also, That's my favorite. <laughs> he helped train you too, right? Yeah. Great trainer. Love him. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it's pretty neat that you're around family. That's, uh, that, that's cool. and now you have family also, uh, here in the athletic department. I do. My uncle's a D line coach here. <laughs> Big Cho Salavea, who who doesn't look quite <laughs> as big, man. That guy looks great. Yeah, he, he slimmed down a little. He looks good. And for those that don't know who he is, he's the one that was kind of modeling all the Ohana gear uh, that they are wearing this weekend. It looks good. Man alive. Yeah. He looks tough. Looks <laughs> yeah. So, uh, T, tell us about, you know, you're an elite basketball player. There, there's no question. You got a chance, I think, to be a real special player here and a longtime pro. What? Um, how come? What? What makes you so good? What? Why are you such a baller? Tell us about <laughs> that. Uh, I think the IQ of the game is a really important aspect of the game. I think that I am um, pretty good at that. I can read like the defense and pick them apart and choose and. Shoot and pass and all that. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can. I, uh, I, I was quoted at the time as saying, you have Sabrina-like ability in, in, in the multiple ways that you can affect the game. Yeah. How come you took to basketball? Why do you love it so? And look at the smile. I just, you have a, a joy about you when you play. Where does that come from? Um, I don't know. I just like to have fun enjoy life um it was definitely not fun playing against my brothers so um i think that's where it came from just being able to smile and have fun with it <laughs> yeah well and, and you, you uh have probably learned not to take the sport for granted right how come oh, yeah. um i tore my acl twice my right and left first uh two years of high school so um it took a while to get back that joy and that passion for the game, but I'm here now and I'm ready to have a great season. <laughs> yeah, well, we can't, I know our fans can't wait to see you play. Um, you, you just, again, you play with so much joy and, and uh, you're so savvy out there. Uh, Terry Bamford is your, uh, your high school coach. What, what did you learn from Terry that you have applied to your life? Um, to always bring attitude and effort to whatever you do, because those are the only things you can control in life. And I try to bring that every day. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, uh, you know, she told me once upon a time, she said, uh, um, you know, Kelly, she could be the best player that I've ever coached. And I go, I said, Terry, you, you know, you coached Candace Wiggins and Kelsey <laughs> yeah. Plum. And Kelsey Plum. And she goes, I know. Yes. <laughs> and that's, that's pretty lofty praise, T. Yeah, are, she likes to keep it real. I thought I love yeah. her. <laughs> yeah. So what are you going to study? Um, I'm undecided currently, so I'm still trying to find something that I'm interested in. Okay. And what are, what kind of things are you interested in? What, what are your hobbies off the court? <laughs> um, I just like to hang out with friends. I'm not really a... Uh, you know, looking for anything. <laughs> oh, I like I got coloring. I... <laughs> yeah. um, well, listen, we'll uh, we'll we'll finish with a couple questions. What uh, do you have? Any hidden talents or anything like that? No, no hidden talents on my end. How about TikTok moves? You got anything like that? Um, I think you saw my buddy Taylor do it. I call her Mike. Call her Mike because there's so oh. many Taylors on the team. So. Like my pajamas? My pajamas I are like cool. those. <laughs> All right. You do have a lot of style, though. That's a dice roll. I have a lot it. of style. I have noticed that. So, yeah. All right. Well, listen, let's, uh, <laughs> let's finish strong here. Let's, hey, you got to take us out with the bang, kiddo. Um, Let's see. Where do we go here? Let's start LeBron or Michael. Get it right. Coach, I know we have practice tomorrow. Don't, don't make me do any extra running, but I got to go with MJ. <laughs> All right. 
All right. How about how about if I put Kobe in there? What if I? Put I still got to go with Michael. I still got to go with okay, Michael. All right. Hey, what's your favorite WNBA team? Gotta go, LA Sparks. Okay. How about NBA team? Ooh, oh, I don't really have one. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, your favorite Nike shoe? Gotta go with the G Fazos. Air Force Ones. The who? <laughs> AF Ones. Who? Air Force Ones. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> oh, I like. That. Uh, one place in the world you want to visit? Um, Samoa. <laughs> favorite movie of all time? Remember the Titans. Favorite music artist? or group? I'll go with Drake. <laughs> okay. And how about your favorite food? Sushi. Love sushi. All right. Uh, last question here. Uh, name one way uh, you'd want to change the world. Um, possibly bring Chick-fil-A to Eugene. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boy, there's a real, hey, you know what? Hopefully we have some donors out here. Some, you know, obviously some of our boosters that have the uh, the means to maybe make something like that happen. <laughs> right? Anybody yes. wants to do that, let's get it done for crying out loud. Hey, Tahina, I, uh, listen, you've got an amazing future, not only here, but, but beyond. And uh, so glad that you chose the University of Oregon. It, Man, I'm uh, glad I to be here. Fans, fans are going to love you. They're going to love <laughs> uh, the play and the joy and uh, and the skill. Ooh, the skills. Crazy. You're at a different level. All right. So make sure you keep eating right, sleeping right, treat people right, and keep being you is basically what I'm saying. Keep being you, okay? You know I will, guys. All right. <laughs> Thank All you. Right. Hey. Well, listen, that's it. Uh, I just want to thank Nate Kruger for spending his Friday night here and, and helping put all this together. It was on him. And Scott Labounty, that dude is a rock star. I uh, appreciate you doing this. Hopefully you got a little insight into the team and who they are, what makes them tick, how much they you can tell they love each other. And I, I think uh, they a lot of them talked about family. A lot of them talked about culture. And I think we have it all set here. We're in the right place. And uh, I just can't wait to, to see how this team gets out there. But listen, it, it's on all of us, you guys. I'm, I'm dead serious about this. It's not a political statement. You know, it's a mask. Uh, let's make sure we do the right thing. Our student athletes, uh, I think, are, are doing a really good job of, of paying attention to this and, and doing the right thing. And I, I just think we all need to. It, it's upon all of us. You know, whether we get to play or not isn't just dependent on the on our student athletes. It's dependent on the, the community at large. So uh, let's do the right thing. I don't want to I don't mean to scold anybody after staying with us this whole time. But uh, and if you ever see me without my mask and I should have it, you can just hit me upside the head. All right. I probably need it to, to anyway. It, it helps. So uh, I wish you the best, everybody. Uh, looking forward to a great season. And go Ducks.